Hi, it's Tamara Alexander, and I am uh, honored to be able to share just a few minutes with you about Christie the Novel by Katherine Marshall and what that novel has meant to me through the years. I first read Christie in college one summer. I had stayed a semester home for various reasons, and um, so I was there for the summer. So I read voraciously that summer and read Christie two or maybe three times, if memory serves, and I was completely swept away. I just loved the characters, the setting, um, the the struggles of the characters, and I loved seeing Cutter Gap through Christy Huddleston's eyes because I I could relate. A gal growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, and just <laughs> I just thought, what is Cutter Gap, and how on earth is she going to survive? Um, and of course, when she first steps off the train, she's thinking, all right, where am I here? And then she has that long that long journey ahead. The characters that Catherine Marshall created, and and I know based on you know her her mother's um, experiences there as a teacher, but the characters Fairlight Spencer, oh um, Zadie, um, who is it? Little Burl, Little Burl, Miss Alice, Doctor McNeil, uh, David. He's a great guy, but I was Team McNeil all the way, baby. Um, Let's see, who else was there? Uh, Aunt Polly, do y'all remember Aunt Polly if you've read the book? Just so many characters that truly became like friends to me. Um, and then speed ahead several years and I started writing Christian fiction myself. My first book was published in 2006. And um, since then, I've re I've re I reread Christy every few years, and I reread it um, probably three or four years ago, and then just last year I uh, listened to it as and this is a special treat. If you um, if you haven't read it recently, I would encourage you to read it again. But if you have read it recently and you want to have a different view of it and get maybe hear things that you didn't before, this was just a treasure um, listening to the audio. Kelly Martin um, narrates it, who is the first Christy in the original TV series. So, but Catherine Marshall has informed my own writing in many ways. Um, just with her descriptions, the way that she describes those mountains layering upon layer of those Appalachian Mountains when Christy sees them the first time and the colors, the purples and the pinks and just the hues that she describes them, the mist over the mountains. Um, it just, it, it just gets inside of you and it, it transports you and you, you're not just reading a story with Christy, you're experiencing a journey. And I did as a reader many years ago and in more recent years, I have as a writer, so I'm very indebted to Catherine Marshall. Catherine has also helped me in my characterization. Sometimes I'll pull out books. Um, I've got, you know, four or five different authors that, like when I'm stuck, I'll just pull a book off the shelf and just start reading and and seeing how they form their characters, what struggles, how they get me to care about those characters. Um, and then the interactions of the characters. My favorite, probably my favorite uh, relationship, other than Dr. McNeil and Christy, is, um, is Fairlight Spencer and Christy. Oh my, their conversations and what the two women taught each other, um, just fantastic, just um, so moving and um, one of those life, those life changing moments. So, so Catherine Marshall, when I see you in heaven, big hug coming to you. Thank you so much for being obedient to what God called you to do, to write the novel. And I tell you, it changed the face of Christian publishing. Um, and I stand on your shoulders most gratefully. Um, you and so many of the others who started writing Christian fiction in a time where, you know, the number of books could fit on two shelves. <laughs> now there's just everything's just exploded all due to your faithfulness so thank you so much and if you haven't read Christy recently go read it if you have read it recently get the audiobook total enjoyment total pleasure it's great to be with you love you guys